What it do, everybody? It's your boy, King Crowder, back again with another edition of History You May Not Know and Things That Are Not Taught in Detail for Show. Today's lesson will be on a controversial figure due to his checkered past and allegations about him, Bayard Rustin. Bayard Rustin was born 1912 in West Chester, Pennsylvania to Florence Rustin and his father, Archie. He was raised with his maternal grandparents, Julie and Janice, and was the nine of 12 children from his biological marriage. His, his grandparents were relatively wealthy, wealthy, and they raised the rustics inside of a wealthy hot fold. He grew up a very African church member at the African AME church that we all know. He grew up with leaders, leaders such as W.E. Du Bois and other leaders. Rustin campaigned early on against racial discrimination Jim Crow laws because he knew that blacks were suffering in this country. By 1932, he entered Wilbur College HBCU in Ohio, where he won it and he pledged for Omega Phi Psi fraternity, and he also received some of his doctorate and other studies. He started early on as activist train, joining in on the civil rights movement, especially early on. He spoke about the nine boys being lynched from a white standpoint in Alabama. He spoke on multiple segregation of lunch counters, was around activists and other programs. He was heavy into the movement, who deserves his flowers and understanding for what he did for black Americans around his time. He was a social um, movement leader, a civil rights activist, a um, socialism. He was into nonviolence and in his personal life, he was a gay rights advocate due to him being homosexual. Mr. Rustic has known to be critiqued based off his allegations, which I cannot say 100% was proof that he championed and moved most black Americans from the Republican Party, which we were naturally with, into a Democratic-led environment. Mr. Rustin's believed that black Americans need to align their philosophies and understandings to a different party. He believed that the sort of religious bed teaching moved us in a different direction. He knew about freedom riders. He was an advocate in the SNCC organizations, but people questioned his curiosity and how King was assassinated and also what made him an advocate by changing the landscape. Mr. Rustic was accused of moving away from black rights to maybe forcefully champion gay rights. Gay rights and black rights was also an issue, but people accused Mr. Rustic of leaning more one over the other. He was also a known advocate for uh, politically based or pol of respectable politics. Respectable politics is a nationality where you believe in speaking positively and respectfully about something. Think about Trump, but think about the opposite. Trump is champion how he feels, vocalizes his voice, and known as speaking how you feel. The movement was saying, be nice, be respectful, be understanding, be sociable, be articulate, and be down with the movement. Most people agree that Rustin championed in and firmly implanted respectable politics inside many black American conversations. The media does not highlight what he did in his positive ways. His past can be checkered. He was known to have CIA and Democratic-led organizations. Who knows, from a true perspective, how these things happen. But we can say there are a lot of curiosities about FBI's knowing about location, about how they knew about core protests before they happened. All of these are landed on the great Rustin's background. I think all of this is an interesting discourse about leaders and how they affect us later on in life. But he stood up for what he believed in. He stood on rights and he was a shaking and a mover and indicator. He spoke up for black people that did not have the rights in rural areas such as Mississippi, Alabama, and was a huge advocate of the nonviolence movement. Mr. Ruxkin sadly passed away August 24th, 1987, at the age of 75 in New York City. Never married. Sorry, he did marry David Platt in the 40s, and also he was married to Walker Neagle, 1977 to 1987, until his death. He had no children, his work with his life, and he moved and advocated for black Americans to have civil rights. His story is checkered but I'm here to highlight you on other members of the civil rights movement that we do not know. 
He deserved some respectability. He pushed and he championed the belief systems and placed black Americans at the forefront. I think his discussion is healthy. I think it's something that we should describe openly. Mr. Rustin was a champion for black Americans. He was a civil rights leader, gay activist, non-violence icon. Judge him as you may, hold him to accountability as you should. But this is the story of Mr. Rustin's accountability. It's your boy, King Crowder. Check him back out again with the other side of the story that we may not know and things that we're not taught all the time. I'm here bringing you information that I find interesting that we must add to our repertoire. If you think you learned some, smash the subscribe button. Please comment, leave a heavy quote. I'm here to come back with you these history untold notes. Until next time, it's your boy checking out. Peace.